I would imagine you get offered a bunch of scripts and you're looking at a lot of different projects. What was it about this one that said, I need to do this? Um, well, I've read quite a few World War II uh, stories or post-World War II movies. Um, what made me excited about this one, the potential of this movie was, uh, it felt very different, it felt very nuanced. It wasn't, because that World War II narrative is often quite good versus bad. It's not very nuanced. It's often everyone on the side of the Allies are a hero and everyone in Germany is a villain. I thought it was interesting to read something that had a bit more complexity. And I read the novel, The Aftermath, and I thought it was fascinating. And the fact that this guy, this German, is not your the stereotypical evil Nazi, but he's also not a hero. He's not Schindler. He's not fighting as Nazis. He is trying to survive in Germany during the war, trying to protect his daughter. He's morally compromised um, because he lives in a house paid for by his wife's family's money, and they were all members of the Nazi party. So there's a complexity there that makes made it very interesting to me. Yeah, I actually liked that all the characters were not black and white. Yeah. Everyone had that sort of the gray. Yeah, and it wasn't like her, like Kara's husband, Jason Clark's character, he's not the bad guy or like the evil. Like so it, sometimes in, you know, the classic case in those movies is like she's with someone who's not a very nice guy or doesn't pay attention to her or it's just like, a, 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 you know, not, really? not a cool guy. So like, so then you know, like, well, she should leave her guy and go for this new guy. This makes it, the goal was obviously to make this difficult for the audience and to see both sides of the story and to understand the issues they're dealing with and the issues that we are dealing with and why she might be torn. Uh, I'm always curious, uh, some actors I speak to love rehearsals and they want to do as many rehearsals as they can and others want to play it a little bit looser, like a little bit, but they want to keep it fresh on set. How, how do you like to prepare for a role and how was it on this? I, for me, it's, it kind of depends on the scene. They're definitely, I'm, I, I'm, I quite enjoy rehearsals. I, um, it, again, it depends on the scene. If it's a technical scene, I definitely think it's, it's helpful. Um, I like running the lines, the, the scene a couple of times, even if you're just sitting down doing it. I find that quite, uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity to play around with it and try different things. But then there are moments where I find it useful to not rehearse at all, to just jump in. Um, so I, to me, it kind of depends on the, the scene itself. Sure. Uh, I am. I heard that you basically are. You flew in here for from a certain movie that I'm looking forward to uh, for you know for press. Yeah. I, ha I have to ask you. I, I butchered the way I wanted to bring this question up, but I have to ask you. I'm so excited for Godzilla Kong. Uh, what can you tease people? Um, well, we, we've been shooting for two months. We were in Hawaii for a month. We we're in Australia. We've been in Australia for a month. I just here. I fly back tomorrow morning to continue, and um, I'm having so much fun. I'm loving it. I really am. It's um, totally quite different from the aftermath, and for most <laughs> movies I've been doing the past two years, I've done a lot of more, slightly more cerebral, uh, quite intense, emotionally intense dramas. So in that way, it was quite cathartic. I was excited to go and do something big and fun, and it's uh, I love the character I play in it, and I've uh, visually it's it's pretty uh, pretty extraordinary. Cannot wait. I already got to go. Uh, right. Congrats on everything. Thank I, you, man. I